This is a keyboard that you can use for this or this. But if you want to be more productive, then you need to know these 50 Windows shortcuts. Starting with multitasking shortcuts, you can launch taskbar apps by pressing Windows plus numeric keys. Alternatively, you can cycle between these apps by pressing Windows plus T. But if you want to launch an app as administrator, press Ctrl plus Shift and then click on any of these apps. After opening your taskbar apps, you can easily move them around by pressing Windows plus arrow keys. You can also switch between these apps by either pressing Alt plus Tab or Shift plus Alt plus Tab. If you want, you can also switch between apps and virtual desktops by pressing Windows plus Tab. Speaking of virtual desktops, you can make a new one by pressing the Windows plus Ctrl plus D shortcut. And if you want to switch between these virtual desktops, simply press Windows plus Ctrl plus arrow keys. However, if you want to minimize all of your apps, just press Windows plus D to directly go to the desktop. Alternatively, you can also press Windows plus Comma to minimize all apps temporarily. Moving to File Explorer and Browser shortcuts, you first need to press Windows plus E to open the Windows Explorer. Here you can quickly rename any file or folder by pressing the F2 key before typing the desired name. And if you want to create a new folder or open an incognito tab, you can simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus N. Another common shortcut between the file explorer and the web browsers is Ctrl plus F to search for text or files. Similarly, you can go backwards or forwards in the explorer or web browsers by pressing Alt plus arrow keys in case your mouse does not have any side keys. You can also switch between the explorer and browser tabs by pressing Ctrl plus numeric keys. Alternatively, you can also cycle between these tabs by pressing either Ctrl plus tab or Ctrl plus shift plus tab. If you want to close and reopen tabs, just press Ctrl plus W to close and Ctrl plus shift plus T to reopen them. Coming to screen capture shortcuts, you can easily start recording your screen by pressing Windows plus Alt plus R. And if you need to change any screen recording settings, simply open the Xbox game bar by pressing Windows plus G on your keyboard. But if you just need to take a simple screenshot, you only need to press Windows plus print screen. For an advanced screenshot, you need to press Windows plus Shift plus S to take a screenshot with the snipping tool. This will also allow you to paste the screenshots just like text. Speaking of pasting text, here are some useful text formatting shortcuts. Starting with the basics, press Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus X to cut text. You can then paste this text as it is by pressing the Ctrl plus V shortcut or without formatting by pressing the Ctrl plus Shift plus V shortcut. And to paste previously copied text, just press Windows plus V to open the clipboard history that can be used to paste text, images and screenshots. If you want to select text, you can press either Ctrl plus A, Shift plus arrow keys or even Ctrl plus Shift plus arrow keys. The Ctrl key is also useful for deleting text by pressing either Ctrl plus backspace or Ctrl plus delete. Although if you accidentally delete some text, you can undo or redo that change by pressing Ctrl plus Z or Ctrl plus Y. If you want to switch the language of your keyboard, you just need to press Windows plus space on your keyboard. Another handy text shortcuts happen to be the emoji keyboard which can be opened by pressing Windows plus dot. 
However, Windows offers much more than just basic text shortcuts. For starters, you can type without a keyboard by pressing Windows plus H to type with your voice instead. Similarly, you can also use voice commands for various functions thanks to the Windows Copilot Assistant that can be triggered by pressing Windows plus C. If you want to magnify small elements on your screen, just press Windows and plus or Windows and minus. You can also access other quick functions in Windows by pressing Windows plus A to access the action center. But if you want to change Windows settings, you need to press Windows plus I. Those of you who are facing issues with your PC, you need to try these diagnostic shortcuts. First, you can quickly open the task manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. If that doesn't work, you can try resetting the GPU by pressing Windows plus Ctrl plus Shift plus B. And as a last option, if your PC is still frozen, you can shut it down by pressing Windows plus X plus U plus U. Once you are done trying all of these Windows shortcuts, you can lock your PC by pressing Windows plus L. As a bonus, if you have a laptop, you can also use the touchpad gestures for various Windows shortcuts. If you found these shortcuts useful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Also, comment down below any window shortcuts that I might have missed in this video. And I'll see you in the next one.